uh, buying a coat is probably one of the, the biggest purchases of the autumn season and definitely a must have for any wardrobe. So I think it's really, really important in terms of the price and the cost per wear. So I, I do think it takes a little bit of um, study beforehand and to find the perfect shape. This one here is from Hobbs. This is for the girl who has um, quite a boyish figure. So she's quite slim, she's quite tall. There's very little difference between her shoulders, um, her hips, and she generally would have a pretty narrow waist and a small bust. So what we're trying to do here is create curves. So what we have here is a lovely um, curve on the lapel, which again is mirroring the curves that we're trying to give this client here. So you have the, the two uh, lapels here, which is very, very nice, coming down into the bust line. Again, this client has very, very narrow hips, so the two patch pockets are really adding, again, a, an extra curve here. Another key investment to buy is a, a really good bag, and I think you have your winter coat, your good boots, and your bag. They're, they are really the must-haves. With this, I would probably introduce maybe a nice paisley print, something um, to just add a, a pop of colour at the neckline. Your petite customer uh, generally is from probably four foot eight up to five foot four. I would highly recommend that if you are within that, that category that you do go to the petite areas in um, your department store. A lot of customers, in, again in my experience, feel that there's no way I'm petite because I'm a, a size 14 they don't really understand that petite is all about height. So this coat is very, very good. It's very um, streamlined and very, very simple in its shape. And um, this works really, really well on a petite frame. The apple shape has become probably the most common body shape. Um, I'm in fashion probably over 20 years. And um, at that time, really, the, there was, everyone was a, a pear shape. But now we've definitely, the, the waists have got wider, uh, the boobs have got bigger. The average bust has gone from a 34B to a 36D. So really, we, we need to really educate ourselves on this body shape. So what I, I've done here is to create a waist by using the belt. A deep V is vital for your apple shape. So again, you're trying to, to break up the torso. You're creating the waist with the belt. So the myth that I've no waist, I can't wear a belt, is not true. So look to accentuate, draw the eye, create the waist that's not there. And again, pretty straight um, on the, the hips. Apple shapes, generally everyone has a positive, they can be narrower on, on the hip area. Your pear shape um, client, she's very narrow on the shoulder. So what you really need on a pear shape is a very, very defined um, shoulder detail. Build the interest up on top. A double breasted coat um, is brilliant for a girl who's slighter on top. Double breasted, again, is something people are afraid of. Again, I'd say don't be, give it a try, unless you're particularly busty. Double breasted can be very, very flattering. But if you have a pear shape that, um, for instance, you have a collar and revere, one button detail, again, showing off the great waist of, of your pear shaped girl, um, a nice scarf on, on the inside can really work a treat. When it comes to collar, for me, if I was really advising a client, I would probably stick with the neutrals. So I stick with maybe the French grey can be very, very soft. A good navy camel is huge. And again, it all depends on your colouring. So again, um, ask your, your personal shopper what colours do you think? And it all works within your capsule wardrobe. So again, it's just a, another education piece.